In the month of Kislev, we of course have the holiday of Hanukkah. Everyone looks forward to the Sufganiyo, the family time, lighting candles, playing dreidel. And we all know this is an eight day holiday. You ask any little kid in Gan, how long is Hanukkah? They'll say it's eight days. And if you ask them why, they'll say, because we the Maccabees found enough oil to last for one day and it lasted for eight. Now we take this for granted, it makes perfect sense. They had enough oil for one day, it lasted for eight. What a miracle. But Rav Yusif Karo, the author of the Shulchan Aruch, brings another question. And he says, why does that make sense? There were only seven days were miraculous. There was supposed to be enough oil for one day. So the first day wasn't a miracle. Only the subsequent seven days were miraculous. So we should really only be celebrating Hanukkah for seven days. There are a few answers commonly given to this question. The first is that by celebrating eight days, therefore celebrating that one seemingly natural day, we're celebrating the Nis Nistar that happens every day. There's no reason that oil should turn and light on fire. But we're celebrating the fact that even on that first day, there's this principle in nature that if you light oil, it'll create a fire. So we're celebrating the Nis Nistar on the first day and the Nis Nigla for the sub subsequent seven days that the oil that should have lasted for one lasted for seven. Another commonly given, ans given answer is that there was two miracles on Hanukkah. There was the miracle of the oil, but there was also the miracle of the war, that this small group of Hashmonaim was able to fight against the great Greek army and win. So on the first day, we're celebrating the miracle of the war, that they were able to win this war, that Hashem made this tremendous miracle for them. And then on the following days, we're celebrating the miracle of the oil. So we put it together and we have eight days. But I saw another answer in the Midrash that gives another spin. The Midrash says that the, that the Mishkan was completed in Kislev, but Hashem waited for the Hanukkah HaMizbeach until Nisan. So when it came time for Hanukkah, Hashem wanted to repay the month of Kislev and have the Hanukkah HaMizbeach, the rededication, be in Kislev. So the original dedication was in Nisan and the rededication was in Kislev. So we're celebrating this rededication of the Mishkan. But pause, we never celebrate the original dedication of the Mishkan. That seems crazy. The Gemara and Moed Katan describes the tremendous joy that came when they first dedicated the Bisham Megdash in Shulmo's time, that they didn't, cel they didn't have Yom Kippur that year because the celebration, the celebration just went through all of Yom Kippur. They had this just tremendous, tremendous dedication party and to think we do nothing today to commemorate it is crazy but why are we having the rededication be such a prominent holiday in our yearly calendar rabbi norman lamb gives a very interesting answer that he says it's easy to be excited in the beginning we start out anything new you think about a new school year a wedding the beginning of anything is inherently exciting you're going to celebrate to begin with the real test of our joy and our excitement is when it comes to redoing something. Everyone knows that feeling when you dive in your first Shmona Esri on Rosh Chodesh, forget Yala Aviyavo and have to go back and dive, and dive in again. It's not so hard to have Kavana the first time, but the second time is really hard to redo it and bring that same Kavana. So what we're learning, what Rabbi Norman Lamb says here is, of course they celebrated the beginning, the dedication of the Mishkan. That happened. We don't need to remember that every year because that wouldn't necessarily come to teach us something. But what we're learning from celebrating Hanukkah every year is that Hashem wants us to bring that same excitement throughout our lives. When we have to redo something, when it comes to the daily, the daily grind, doing things over and over again, and that's where we have to really bring the excitement. So this Kislev, our goal should be to maintain that excitement that we just had from the beginning of the year and carry it on through the rest of the year.